Ah, dropping the ball? A group of nine MPs have been granted leave in September to go on a corporate-sponsored junket to the Rugby World Cup in the UK. Some of them will play for the parliamentary rugby team, to be fair, which is very beneficial to us all, I'm sure, but not quite sure why. Um, they'll do that while they're there, but only some of them. The ANZ, Air New Zealand, are two corporates who are picking up the majority of the tab. The Green Party's questioning whether this is effectively another cash-for-access situation. Green Party co-leader Materia Toure joins me now by phone. Um, Materia, thanks for joining us. What problem do you have with this junket? Oh, look, I mean, I think there is an issue here and an access, privilege access by corporate lobbyists to uh, MPs. This is clearly a personal trip. It's not really parliamentary business. They are going to the World Cup and they're getting corporate entities to pay for it. I think it's, they should be a bit more upfront about it. OK, I'm not so worried about the, the cash for access business because, to the best of my knowledge, there are virtually no corporates actually going. They're just picking up most of the tab, which saves me and you as taxpayers a little bit of money. What I am concerned about is that this is considered to be a legit parliamentary trip, and the fact of the matter is it isn't. There is no benefit to me and you in having these people go. I mean, I think we need to know about the corporate lobbyists who might be going, but I think you're right about this. We didn't support it being a parliamentary trip. Um, this that happened, this was a decision made at business committee, and we disagreed with it. Because you're right, it is actually a private trip. Private money is going into it. Apparently the MPs are paying some of it themselves. They're going for two weeks to see the Rugby World Cup. And so, you know, it, it, their vote shouldn't be counted in Parliament while they're away. No, it should be treated like the private trip that it really okay. is. Okay, and this is interesting because it is an official, it's been sanctioned as an official parliamentary trip. Their votes will still count while they're away, and perhaps importantly to some people, they will still be paid fully, even although they are not doing their jobs. Well, they could, you know, they could take annual leave if they like and make it a personal, a personal trip. And if that's what it is, then that's what they should do. You know, James and I today are off to Pakistan. We're going to meet with the area community organisations. You know, to talk about issues up there, our vote doesn't count today when we're doing parliamentary business in the com in communities. I don't see why their vote should count while they're at the Rugby World Cup. Are you sure, Materia, you haven't just got the pip because no one wanted the Greens to go because they'd spoil the party? <laughs> Well, uh, Gareth Hughes is on, is on the team, but he's not going. Uh, so, you know, I, I, Helen Clark raised issues about this in 2007, I think. You know, we need no, to no, actually, sure that's that a very, it's a very good point. Uh, just finally, she did. In 2007, Helen yeah. Clark called for an inquiry because she was concerned about the parliamentary rugby, rugby yeah. team and the rules and that. What, what happened with that? Oh, well, nothing. Um, the, uh, Speaker Wilson was in control of that, but left it, I think, to standing order, so nothing really happened. There wasn't any kind of rules or guidelines put around these kinds of trips, and I think that that's a problem, and we should look at that again. All right, Materia, thanks for joining us. Materia Toure, Green Party co-leader, who's on her way, actually, on a working trip. But as she said, her vote won't count in the House while she's gone, unlike these nine members of Parliament. Who are they, incidentally? Paul Goldsmith, he's the Commerce Minister. I don't know if much point comes of him. Um, Sam lotto Ienga, not quite sure what he does. Um, New Zealand First Leader Winston Peters, he's there. Labor's Damien O'Connor, Stuart Nash, Penny Hanare. <laughs> Um, Kelvin Davis. Oh, well, that'll be a blessing for National to have him playing rugby for a couple of weeks. Um, Alfred Naro and Mark Mitchell. Yeah. Um, boys club, boys so club, no boys huge club. Loss Where's for the most netball team? 